My name is Rebecca Hale and I am a computational linguist at Megaputer Intelligence. Computational linguistics is the intersection of computer science and linguistics. So it's teaching computers how to deal with language. Um, anytime you do a web search or you ask a computer to translate something for you or you talk to your phone and it gives you an answer, that's all computational linguistics. I love solving problems. Um, we, uh, we have a lot of different clients from a lot of different industries and there are a lot of different problems and puzzles to solve because it's a lot more complicated than just asking a computer what somebody's talking about in the text that you're looking at. Because um, computers just don't understand language the way that we do. It's all ones and zeros to them. So if you ask them a question like, what is the text talking about? They're not, it's not going to understand it. So you have to ask it more specific questions like, um, is this keyword used? And so maybe you want to know what, uh, what people think about the rooms that they're in, in hotels. Uh, so if you look for the word room, you'll get some things, but you'll also get a lot of things like, well, maybe they didn't have enough legroom on the bus ride to the hotel or something. Um, so there's just a lot of complexity to language that you have to think logically about it and not just intuitively like we normally respond to language. We just immediately understand the meaning and you can't, you can't have a computer do that. So there's a lot of puzzles that you need to uh, work out in order to solve these problems. Text analytics is basically a subfield of computational linguistics, uh, and we tend to use the terms interchangeably, but text analytics is basically where you have a lot of text data and you need to get information out of it. Um, you could have a human read through it because humans understand language very, very well, but when you have so much data, we're really limited, both in memory and just our capacity to understand large numbers and comprehend large amounts of data. So you need text analytics um, to go through all of that and look for information out of your text that you need for any reason, um, for business insights, for intelligence that you can use to make decisions, and so on. It is so important. We have so much data now, both in structured form and in text form, that the traditional methods of trying to read through it manually and getting all that information out of it is just not feasible anymore. There's too much data. Um, and we can't comprehend large amounts of data. Um, so computers have no problem with large amounts of data, with fast processing, they're good at speed reading, they just don't understand what they read, so that's where we come in. Um, and you really, really need text analytics now if you want to get through all of your data and really get all of the information out of it that you can. Otherwise, you're stuck with just reading a few and trying to make your own inferences about what people think are important, and you're not really relying on the data itself in your interpretation of what customers are saying, what your uh, clients are saying, what your service providers are saying, and all of that text data that you have on hand. We are already living the future of computational linguistics. Um, you can talk to your phone and have it give you answers about anything in the world, and have it search through the internet with tons of data, um, to give you an answer in a complete sentence in a way that you can understand. We have machine translation. We can talk to devices that open our garage door or put something on our grocery list or automatically order something off the internet for us. Language is really um, a miracle of human cognition that I can think something complex and abstract in my head and then create something that then conveys almost that exact thought to you and we rarely have miscommunications. I mean, they happen, of course, but we can still convey very complex, abstract thoughts through language. Computational linguistics used to be just computer scientists. 
Um, so we treated language like a code that needed to be broken um, back in World War II. That's basically when it started, is we realized that language is not a code. Um, it's so much more complex than that. It's a tangle of meaning and structure and context, and we need an understanding of language, an expert understanding of language, to be able to make sense of it at all. Um, so we're starting to realize that we need language experts and linguistic understanding in order to do computational linguistics. <laughs> Everything that we're working on now, um, and in my field in particular, that applies to text analytics.